Welcome to Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In this video we will learn how to read and understand welding symbols in the isometric drawings. Please watch the video until the end, I am sure you will improve your symbols reading knowledge with the information we will provide here. This video provides excellent practice information about welding symbols for fitters. Please subscribe to our channel before starting the video for watch more videos. Let's starting our tutorial video. Welding symbols are graphical representations used in engineering and manufacturing to communicate essential information about welds and welding processes. These symbols are standardized and universally understood, allowing engineers, designers, and welders from different locations to effectively understand for weld joints. A welding symbol can be a pretty complex drawing that consists of basic weld symbols and supplementary symbols, numbers, and letters that can define every single aspect of a specified weld. However, each element of the welding symbol has its specified location and meaning. The basic form of a welding symbol consists of three vital elements, including the following. Arrow Reference line Tail. These three elements are the most straightforward representation of a welding symbol, and each has a unique role that affects the finished weld, so let's closely explain what they mean and do. The arrow. The arrow is a crucial element of the welding symbol, connecting the reference line to the joint. The arrow points to the location where the weld is to be applied. Simply put, you should consider an arrow as a pointer representing a weld here. There is always only one arrow in the weld symbol. Reference line. The reference line is the horizontal line that serves as the anchor for all welding symbols and elements. Designers are used the reference line to show the size of the weld, angle of inclination, size of the weld profile, depth of penetration, number of welds, spacing. Instead of words, is used a series of welding symbol elements to help you understand what expecting from weld. The tail. The tail is the last part of the welding symbol, which is drawn at the end of the reference line opposite the arrow. The tail is used to provide welders with additional information for which there is no provision elsewhere. So, let's briefly explain each one of the basic weld symbols. Fillet welds and groove welds. Fillet welds are one of the most common weld types in the industry. This weld is used when the joint has two members coming together to form an intersection of commonly 90 degrees. These welds can be applied on varying angles but this would be the most prominent. The welding symbol above or below the reference represent the location on which the weld is carried out. If the welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points near side. If the welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side far side of the joint. Engineering drawings sometimes call for welds on both sides of the weld metal piece so that you will see welding symbols written on both sides of the reference line. When a fillet weld is required on both sides of the reference line it is called a double fillet weld. Fillet welds may have a size associated with them. This size is called out on the left side of the symbol before the vertical side. The size is indicating the leg length of the weld. For example, 6 mm fillet weld will have both legs of the weld measuring 6 mm from the plate to the toe of the weld. Z equals leg length. Groove weld symbols. Groove welds are also very common in the welding industry and you'll find them anywhere two pieces of steel but together. It's important to understand the structure of the symbol so you'll know the exact parameters of the joint preparation. V-groove welds, a V-groove weld has bevels cut on both sides of the weld joint. Also, V-groove welding symbol above or below the reference represent the location on which the weld is carried out. If the welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points near side. If the welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side far side of the joint. 
Engineering drawings sometimes call for welds on both sides of the weld metal piece so that you will see welding symbols written on both sides of the reference line. There may be an angle above the V-groove weld symbol, which is the included angle of the bevels. How to read groove weld symbols. The groove weld symbols tell you what type of joint preparation you'll need. They also tell you the angle of the joint preparation, depth of penetration, and the root opening, if required. Here R is the dimension for the root opening, and A is the groove angle. The groove angle is the included angle of the joint, not the angle you cut the bevel. For example, a 60 degree included angle is two 30 degree bevels. Bevel groove welds, a bevel groove weld has a bevel cut into only one side of the joint. The arrow of the welding symbol will point to the side of the joint that needs the bevel. There will often be an angle above the weld symbol telling you the angle at which to cut the bevel. Also, the groove welding symbol above or below the reference represent the location on which the weld is carried out. If the welding symbol is showing below side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the side of the joint at which the arrow points near side. If the welding symbol is showing above side of the reference line the weld is carried out on the opposite side far side of the joint. Engineering drawings sometimes call for welds on both sides of the weld metal piece so that you will see welding symbols written on both sides of the reference line. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our engineering channel, and turn on notifications, to be notified of our new piping tutorial videos in time. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments, and likes, my friends. We are trying to improve the skills of pipe fitters and fitters with these training videos we have prepared. You can help our channel by watching these videos and sending the video links to your friends. Thank you for watching see you on next video, take care.